Yeah, right. Yes, it's but very thought provoking. It is. It's very. But that's not the only part of the language. There, are, there are other things that I started to hear mm-hmm. in working in people's homes with the clients that I really did not hear clearly when I was a therapist. Okay. And the second part is indecisive language, and I believe the second most used phrase in human language is "I'll try." Or I tried. Oh. And those are, that's an indecisive statement. It means absolutely nothing to the subconscious process. Mm-hmm. So, what goes along with indecisive, indecisive language is if, but, when, could, should, maybe, someday, sometime, probably, I'll think about it. And the most popular two indecisive words combined now what kind of sort of oh yeah of course kind of sort of kind of sort of sort of kind of now i had a woman that called last week and she said i kind of sort of need to get organized oh i bet you went off through the roof (laughs) with that one well that's a very indecisive needy person they're so blocked with indecision and need they they're they're most likely uh, not going to be an ideal client, perhaps not ready. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I do is that when I explain to them that it kind of sort of is indecisive uh-huh. and it's not a need, then very quickly I'll get to figure out if they really want to do the project or not. And of course, nobody wakes up in the morning and goes, oh, goody, mm-hmm. I get to clean out my garage or my pantry. Right. So, you know, it's, uh-huh. it's you know, right up there with moving you know, it's hard. It's, it's difficult. It's, it's, it is. It's difficult. It's time it's difficult. consuming. It's physical labor. But what this is, using I need and I'll try and stuff, it affects the subconscious mind. Because when you hear need, you don't want to do it. I need to do this. Well, we're right? needing ourselves to death or, in essence, needling ourselves to death. Mm-hmm. And it only puts pressure on us. And those things are not needs. You yes. don't even need to pay your taxes. Honestly, you will get in trouble, right. but you're not going to die. Right. Needs are things that if we don't do them, we will die. Right. So everything else is you either want to do it or you do not want to do it or you will do it and you won't. And the thing is, is that we have replaced the word will with need. Yes. And need used to mean necessity, and now it has changed even in the dictionaries to mean desire. Really? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. So when it meant necessity, obviously a, a farmer in the 1800s wasn't saying, honey, I need to go plow the field. Right. He was saying, I'm going to plow the field now, honey, yes. or I will plow the field. Right. So need came in, I believe, in early media days mm-hmm. with radio and mm-hmm. television mm-hmm. when they wanted to sell products okay and so we adopted this thing that we need everything everything now is a need uh-huh like dad i need the new iphone exactly. i mean that's a good like no you want it but you don't need it i mean if you go through your life and or your day you can i mean how many times you say need People. Most people say need a thousand times a day. And it just day. makes them sound so needy. Well, and you know, I work with people that are highly intelligent professors at mm-hmm. UC Irvine, UCLA, uh, scientists, doctors, attorneys. Prominent, intelligent people are misspeaking mm-hmm. English so terribly now. And it is confusing them and making them like live like the absent-minded professor. Right. And so... You know, there. You know, Einstein was very interesting. He said, uh, a, "You know, there, there were people that were saying his desk was so cluttered, and that therefore his mind must be cluttered." And so his response was, "Uncluttered desk, nothing in your mind." Uh huh. You know, <laughs> but obviously he had assistants, I'm sure, and people that were helping him find his things if they were under a huge pile, or he just was able to find them, you know, after looking for a couple hours. But really, no one wants to live like that. No one wants to go live in a mess. No, no, they don't. They don't. But I'm sure Einstein knew where everything was because he is, after all, Einstein. Right, right, Marla? Well, okay. you know, I used to live that way as well. You did? So, yes, I, I, in my private practice, I was 
I was very organized. But if you looked at my desk, you know, and at home Mm -hmm. and the piles that come onto the countertop in the kitchen and my drawers were full of stuff that I'd never even picked up. My closets were stuffed. You know, I I, I wasn't putting things under the bed because that's bad feng shui. Mm. But we're going to talk about that after the break. Yes. I, I was looking for things a lot. Right. And that's when. You know, when I started to help people, I read a lot of books Mm -hmm. on organizing, but none of them really addressed long-term organizing. Mm -hmm. It was about making it neat, tidy, you know, tidying everything up, getting rid of things. And that did not work for my average client. And it didn't work for me either. Mm -hmm. And until I figured out categorizing, containing categories, finding the appropriate home, and really having the things in our home that mean the most and the things that we use the most closest and Mm -hmm. the things we use the least farthest, Mm -hmm. then it all started to make sense on how I and my clients could live an organized life. Well, what is the third? So we have needs and wants. We We got to stop saying needs and wants indecisive language like I tr- I'll try which it does can you come to my party can you do this I'll try oh that bugs me but the third one what that's pretty it's pretty bad yes well we don't want to get w- rid of wants it's okay to want what we want to get rid of is need, need. and the indecisive language the third part is Ooh, the saddest part of all it really <laughs> makes it sad for us humans on this planet and that is a statement that I hear about every fourth sentence which is, I feel like, or I feel that, mm. followed by a thought, okay. rather than a feeling. Like, so, it, Give me an example. Okay, so I feel like we should go to the movies today, or I feel that I better do the laundry, or I feel like he doesn't understand me, or I feel that this is an important task to mm. do. But we missed the feeling, and in, in, in language, all languages, when you say, I feel, it's followed by an adjective, or there's an adjective prior to the feeling. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's, it's give me an example. It's, so it should be. So I we, feel. We want to say I feel enthused. Hurt. I feel hurt, disappointed, abandoned, disregarded, right, right. Uh, overwhelmed. I'll hear. I'll hear frustrated at times. I'll even hear I feel pissed, which is not even a word. Okay. A, a real feeling. Okay. So what we we have about four feelings for every feeling we're feeling. Okay. And. We feel so many things. Feelings are nature. They're like nature. They just keep coming. Okay. Uh, there's there's a, a prominent feeling, though, that I suspect many people are feeling today, and that's apathy. Mm, which yep. is a, Oh, boy. You yes. know, you know, and yeah. that means that we've just stopped caring and mm-hmm. we're angry about it. Mm-hmm. Another feeling, for example, is jealousy. Jealousy is a feeling of feeling unloved and angry about it. Mm -hmm. So, but we don't say, I feel jealous. We say, I feel like he's dissing me. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So our language is crumbling and it's, you know, we're not being defined really as human. We're really becoming more robotic, Yes, you know, extremely needy for everything Mm -hmm. and completely indecisive. So no wonder America yes. and actually internationally business is our their productivity and efficiency levels way down. Yes. Employee motivation is way down. We have a high turnover of employees now because we just keep thinking the next one's going to be more productive, mm-hmm. more with it, have better follow through. And it's not true because this is an epidemic mm-hmm. of poor language usage increasing chronic and perpetual disorganization and not just in the united states this is across all Every, languages right exactly the need the it, need that i need in fact i've talked to people in india china uh, germany france uh all over asking them is this happening to your language are yes. you saying i need instead of i will and the answer is yes they yes. have a phrase to not say i will Right. And I believe we've lost our will. Mm, yes. Yeah. That's that's what's so sad. Right. And the language perpetuates it subconsciously. Is that right? Well, our language. You know, our, our, we're, we're, we're not that complicated, you know, uh, uh, like a computer, mm-hmm. but in some ways we are complicated. Yeah. So, you know, if you go back to psychology 101, we have an ego, you know, that's who we are. Right. You know, I'm an organizer. You're a talk show owner, a TV show. Director, company, director producer. Uh, Let's get those credits know. in. Uh, yeah. Yes. And we have the id. Yeah. Okay. It, then we have id, super ego. That's the yeah, parent, right. the bad parent, good parent, you know, right. oh, don't eat that ice cream. Oh, yeah, I'm going to eat that ice cream. <laughs> oh, don't go to the zoo today. Oh, no, I'm going to the zoo today. Right. And 
you know, and then we have our conscious mind. That's what our mind is on you know, right now. It, in the right. moment, sure. in the now. And then we have a subconscious. Yes. And then we have an unconscious process. The okay. unconscious process is really just the pool of everything that's ever happened to us. Right. And it's all recorded in there. It's all in there. Even if somebody said to you, oh, don't you remember that day we went to the market and you lost your purse and the person says no it's still in there sure it's right. still there it's in the unconscious and you know something may trigger it to come up yeah up to the subconscious process and the subconscious process will then let it flow to the conscious mind okay so the subconscious is a barrier between the conscience and the unconscious the, the unconscious conscious. and the and the conscious yeah right and so and yeah. so the subconscious also though the biggest part of the subconscious yeah. It's our driver to get us to get to our dreams and goals. Mm, and the language is, how does the language play with well, that? Well, the quick? language will either let your dreams and goals occur, uh -huh. or it will block you from ever reaching your goals and, and dreams. And that's what's happening, Paul, with the needs and wants and the I feel that. So instead of I feel that, let's give the listeners a tip. We should say, or not I, should say, I shouldn't you, even say that. Exactly. What that's is correct? Yeah, well, what's, what's correct is, is to say, I, I, no. I feel hurt, or I, and also right. with the indecisive, it's I will or I won't. Uh, and get rid of indecisive. You either want to do something or you don't want to do something. And it's okay to contemplate in the want stage. Do I want this? Do I really want this? A lot of times when we're saying I need, and then I help a client to say, this is not a need. This is a want or a don't want. Do you want to do this? Mm -hmm. They'll actually say, no. Right. <laughs> but they've been needling themselves and needing themselves and having themselves and got a, themselves and musting themselves. And when they actually stop to think about what they truly value in life yeah. and what they really want to do in life, uh, that action or whatever they thought they quote needed to do, um, when it didn't, when it right. you know became a want or don't want, they realized it just didn't even match up with goals or dreams or life goals or even short term goals, and so they just stopped thinking about it. Right. And so, but the most important thing yeah. is to say, I will do my laundry. I will pick up my home. I will go to the dry cleaners. I will go pick up the kids. Yes. But here's the thing. If any of those things that you think you want to do and you will yourself to do, if they're so difficult for mm -hmm. you and they make you feel so uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, for instance, I hear a lot of moms say, oh, I got to go pick up the kids. And I'll say, no, you don't got to go pick up the kids. Do you want to go pick up the kids? And they're like, no, I'm a human bus driver. Mm -hmm. It's so distasteful to me. You know, I, I have a master's degree like you, Marla. I'm an intelligent person and really I've become a bus driver. So my answer to yeah. that is very simple. Find a, a mom's group, find another mom that loves to go cart the kids around, and then you do something for her. You mm, know, you pet sit. Right. Or you take the kids when they want to go on a date. Really push it. When I, I have a saying that says, when you push, you fall. So there's so many tasks in life that we are thinking that we must do. Right. And and it's not a must. We don't must do anything except those okay. seven things. Right, right. And that's the air, food, water, shelter, sleep, elimination, and the sunlight. Got that, Paul? Yes, <laughs> the seven things that keep us alive. Okay. So I tell mothers, stop yes. doing the things that you don't want to do. Trade, trade in, get somebody to help you and really figure out what you value in life. Fantastic. Well, we are going to take a break. And before we take a break, let's plug your website. It is www.i-deal-lifestyle.com. And then I also have www.orangecountyprofessionalorganizers.com and www.orangecountydecorators.com. And oh, wow. go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. Www dot feng shui orange county dot com and also south oc wellness dot com wow. which is my business oh. organizer organizing business website which also 
uh, the other thing that we haven't talked about, but we'll talk about yeah. soon, is that I do workshops and training right. programs for uh, corporate 1,000 companies all the way down to small businesses to increase the productivity and efficiency of their employees. I can't wait to get to that. And uh, and GoDaddy is happy because Marla has cornered the market with organizing uh, <laughs> domain name. Yes. So Paul is getting ready to take a break. I'm John Marchese, and we will be back in two minutes.